We're at the Musée d'Orsay and we're looking at four of over 30 canvases that Monet made of Rouen Cathedral, which is a little more than an hour's drive north of Paris. Over two late winters and early springs, 1892 and 1893, he rented a space across from the cathedral and painted the cathedral in different effects of light. And so what he did was he had several canvases going at once, each for a different moment of the day and a different effect of light. Well, that makes sense. If Monet is trying to define this ephemeral quality of light, then as the sun moves, he would need to change canvases. He can't paint that fast. (laughs) And then he would come back to it day after day. but in also different weather effects. And having this temporary studio across the street allowed him to paint in the rain, early in the morning, etc. And then I think he brought them all back to Paris and finished them in the studios. Well, they they are really heavily wrought, and there's a lot of paint on these canvases. And so this is not something that was done quickly. Monet was always interested in capturing the fleeting effects of something that he saw. But here it's become the exact subject of the painting. The irony is that as he's capturing something that's fleeting... He takes longer and longer to paint it and to finish it, not outside, but to finish it in the studio. There's another irony here, which is that if their subject is really about light and the way light constructs form, and I think that really is the subject, he's picked a pretty potent thing to render that on. That is to say a medieval cathedral, which is all of its religious connotations, its historical connotations, and is solid in the extreme, and yet in the rendering by Monet, these are not so such solid forms. No, they really appear very light, almost filigree forms. They lack a sense of heavy three-dimensionality. The subject of a Gothic cathedral is divine light itself. So why would he be interested in a just formal sense of the Gothic cathedral? And I've always thought that it had to do with the enormous complexity of the surface. There's no doubt that it's, it's the complexity of light and shadow on the facade of a cathedral like Rouen Cathedral that was appealing to him. But I don't think it's simply because the Gothic church has a fabulous facade. I mean, he's choosing something very identified with France, the Gothic style. There feels to me like there's something nationalistic here. There feels to me like there's something poignant here. I mean, let's face it, you know, we've we've had Darwin and things are really different in the late 19th century. Though this is, in a sense, taking that grand history, taking all of the power that these function symbolically, and in a sense, understanding them through the lens of the late 19th century. I think so. They're meant to be seen together. I mean, he exhibited them together, note that he ever exhibited them all together, but they're certainly meant to be